as we see freebies that Sidramaya Sarkar has promised, one of that has landed them in trouble. The Karnataka Chamber of Commerce has called a statewide bun. 22nd of June, they said they are going to shut shop protesting against the power tariff hike that Sidramaya government has announced. And soon after the bun was announced, Sidramaya addressed their concerns but also said at the same time that the electricity tariff will not change for now. They are only finding it uh, expensive because two months bill came together at once. It was clubbed and presented to them. That's why it was, it looked expensive for them. Firing salvos now at the Sidramaya Sarkar. BJP has asserted how Congress's five promises are betrayal of the people of Karnataka and those who earlier paid 500 rupees are now forced to pay 1,200 rupees for electricity. Highlighting how industries now are going to shut shop in Karnataka and leave. There could be mass exodus of businesses after this 30% power hike. I hope that they are convinced of that. Yes, sir. Nama Adhikari Gulu Karma Kari Gulu. Yes, sir. Kadami Agal Dre, Yeldu Thingladu Othiya Kutputi Dreta, Oru Barwa Karnastha Dre. Kutai Itta. Adhe Dreta Mundu Thingladu, Kodandhe Thingladu Barthu Dre Kadami Agal. Nari Tho Auru Bandhu Maatta Dre. Kesi Siya Avna Yela Bandhu Maatta Dre. All right, I'm cutting across to Anaka Keshav, joining us live for more on that. Anaka, tell us more on the power tariff hike. We believe that even as 200 units of free electricity has given to most households in Karnataka, domestic purposes, when it comes to commercial use, it appears that the increase in tariff by nearly 2 rupees uh, has really cost the industry itself. It's become quite a bane for them. They've now threatened to shut shop if it's not corrected. Tell us a little more about the difficulties that they're facing, the bun that they've called for and the government's assurance to them. You know, there is an outrage across Karnataka from all the trade bodies. They're now crying, saying that we are having to pay a much higher fee. For example, previously it was 4.15 rupees for 50 units of electricity. But now they're having to pay 4.75 for 100 units of electricity. And, it's only, and, and, um, and it only increases with each slab. So this is a massive hike in electricity prices, the energy charge that we're seeing. And that is why the trade bodies right now, you know, they are threatening that if the situation is going to continue, we would have no choice but to face losses. We will not have any profits left and we have no choice but to pack up our shops and go home. This is the kind of outrage that we are seeing and even FKCCI called in for a bund across Karnataka. FKCCI which is in Hubli had called in for a bund for all the trade unions against the government saying that the hike in electricity prices was absolutely unfair and uncalled for. We did not sign up for this. All that we wanted was a 200 unit of free electricity and now you come and tell us that we have to pay the arrears for the month of April and May, which you know, uh, which is uh, you know, which is a huge number, we absolutely cannot afford. Is you know that is why they call for right. a bond so on June 22nd across Karnataka. Where, but now, know, despite but assurances, Minister, whether Sidramia they are still going to, the, we believe that the Congress government has tried to assure the uh, chamber, the commerce body, but they have not got a satisfactory response. Sidramia has very clearly said that power uh, tariff will not change, but it could be lighter from the next month on. Yet now the commerce body is still going to be holding that statewide bun. Will the government buckle is the question. Anaga, thank you very much for joining us.